Hi, this is Mr. Mitchell with a video called Property of Fluids. Now, many times when we think of fluids, we think of just liquid, but it is liquid and gas. However, the first couple of terms we're going to have does apply to liquid. The two terms are viscosity and buoyancy. The viscosity of a liquid is how well it flows, and yes, the viscosity can be changed by temperature. For example, at room temperature, syrup has a lower viscosity than water because water flows easier. However, if you heat, heat this syrup up, then it would flow just as well as water does because of the temperature. So viscosity is how well a liquid flows. Buoyancy is another term about liquid. You've probably heard of this one. It is how well an object floats. Here we have the rubber ducky that is floating. Here we have something that is floating and something that is sinking. And a principle about fluids that has to do with buoyancy is Archimedes' principle. Archimedes' principle says the buoyant force of an object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. Have you ever wondered how a huge ship like this, and I looked it up, cruise ships like this weigh 20,000 to 40,000 tons. That's one ton is 2,000 pounds. So we have these incredibly heavy ships that float on water. The way they can do that is that they have displaced over that amount of that heaviness of water. For example, we could have a steel ball that weighs the same as this hull shaped, but the hull shaped as it's put in water also has air in it. So as a result, it is displacing a lot of water. The more water that is displaced, the better chance something can float. So the buoyant force of an object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object, and here it displaces a lot of water. Here it displaces more water than it weighs. So that is Archimedes' principle. There's another principle that has to do with fluids called Pascal's principle. We have touched upon this. Pressure applied to a fluid transfers throughout the fluid. We have talked about these hydraulic lifts. If you are able to push a lever or push a button, you can push this fluid to where it will be, the whole thing will lift up. So you have just very little pressure that you put here in order to lift the entire car. And the key here is that all of this is a fluid, which is a liquid or a gas. Now with a gas, you have to make sure it contains the entire thing. You just can't have air in there. You have to have compressed air. But here it looks like you have a fluid, and if you push down on one end of the fluid, it will push up on the other, just like with toothpaste. If you squeeze from the bottom end of the toothpaste, it puts pressure throughout the entire paste, and it comes out the end. And have you ever seen one of these? They're like these big floating mattresses where somebody jumps down on one end and it sends somebody flying way up in the air. Now this is probably not filled with liquid. This is probably filled with air. But liquid, I mean gas. Liquid or gas applies to Pascal's principle. Pressure applied to a fluid transfers throughout the fluid. Here's another one. Another one is Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle is that faster moving fluids create less pressure. Fluids flow from high pressure to low pressure areas. Now I may have to explain this one. Here we have a garden hose which is attached to some kind of something that you want to put out in the spray. Whenever you have fast moving fluid, when the water goes through the hose, it is going fast and it creates less pressure than normal water would have. So what will happen to the normal water inside the uh, container? It will suck up through the container because 
areas of high pressure want to go to areas of low pressure. So any liquid you put through this pipe here is going to suck up the liquid that happens to be in the bottom because of Bernoulli's principle. Same thing happens with chimneys. You have the air which is moving. If the air is moving at all, then you have lower pressure. Remember, faster mover fluids create less pressure. So what that does is that brings the smoke up from this area of higher pressure. Higher pressure goes up to area of lower pressure. And take a look also at this airplane wing. Yes, this is an airplane wing. People have figured out that if you make the top of the wing, if you make the air go faster over the top of the wing, then you get lift. And it's because of Bernoulli's principle. They make the wing to where air has to go faster over the top of it. So since this air below has higher pressure, remember faster air is going to have less pressure, then that means it pushes up on the wing and it actually gets lift. And that is, that is just so cool to me. Uh, there is also something called thermal expansion, which is from another video, so I don't know why I put it there. But hopefully you will be able to remember the following things. The properties of fluids, viscosity and buoyancy are two properties of liquids. Uh, Archimedes principle, which is why something really big can float. Uh, Pascal's principle, which is why you can apply a little bit of a pressure and get a lot of pressure out. And Bernoulli's principle, which is that faster moving fluids have less pressure and it you can actually manipulate things like an airplane wing to get lift as a result. Hope you learned a little bit about these items.